Hi friends, welcome back to Learn for Tarakki. My name is Anu. So we have planned a series to teach you about how to use Git using command line. So the first part of the series we are going to cover is cloning Git repository using HTTPS URL. So later on we will be showing you how to clone Git repository using SSH and then we will be learning a lot about branches, merges etc using command line tool. So we are going to use git for windows since we are sitting on windows system otherwise in case of linux users they can make use of git pack using package managers and then follow this tutorial so let's begin with this tutorial so for this tutorial purpose we have created one sample repository in our learn for Turkey account so we have added one sample file index.html in this repository as you see just this is for demonstration purpose in your case you might have some existing repository that may have many files or the structure may be different but the complete agenda of this tutorial is to show you how to clone the existing repository it can exist whether in github or gitlab or bitbucket it can be a private or public repository so this tutorial will cover the cloning using https url so let's begin with this so this is a existing repository and it has two files readme.md and index.html file this repository is already initialized while creating it using this github account so to start off we need a https url just click on this button in case of bitbucket it may be a different approach but you can click on this button and look at this url it's starting with https so we are going to use this type of url so in case of ssh we will be using this so just click on this copy to clipboard button if it this button is not available in case of other wrapper servers you have to copy this url just copy to clipboard now go to the location where you want to clone the repository means you want to get in your local system so we are in f drive l40 rough work repository so just if you have git for windows in your system so it will be installing git gui and git bash as well so after that you would be having two links in your context menu if we right click on anywhere you will be having these two links git gui here and git bash here just open git bash just click this link git bash here so i'm going to shorten this a little just to show you what is happening behind the scene so we are in sitting in this drive and for cloning the repository we have already copied the https link just what we have to do we have to fire up git command git clone command with that link type in git space clone space the url as you see yeah now if you click enter it will go it will be creating a folder in this current directory the folder name would be sample repo because by default git would create a folder name with the name of the repository so first of all i'm going to show this to you so i'm going to press enter over here so it is cloning the sample repository into the current directory as you see the name of the folder is sample repo after getting cloned now if you want so this is done we are done with the cloning of repository using https url so there are few arguments that you have to aware of while cloning suppose you want your custom name as a directory name instead of the repository name so what you can do you just have to pass in the fourth argument means we have git clone then we have the https url after that you have to give space and pass on any name like i want to name it as sample if we, if we click enter over here it will create a directory with name sample and clone this repository into that folder so if you see 
or here we have a sample folder getting created and within that we have a entire repository content so dot git folder is related to the git contents so it is hidden by default so we have these two files what we have in the remote repository so that's it with this tutorial hope you understand this tutorial very well and if you like our video you can subscribe to our channel so you would, would not miss any upcoming video in this series because we are going to add a lot of things in this series so thank you for watching and keep subscribing